Google Ads price extensions can be a really powerful way to add some additional information to your ads um, that tell people some competitive pricing information that might just get them to click and buy from you. So let's jump into it. Let's take a look at what pricing extensions are, how to set them up, how to read the analytics and all that good stuff. So um, just did a random search here, Carpet Cleaner Phoenix, and we can see that Thumbtack is actually advertising and they're using a price extension right here so you can see where um, it's saying house cleaning fifty dollars per hour varies by location and size and then it says more with this little arrow right here if you click this little arrow now all of a sudden you see what would what most people would consider to be their price extension <laughs> all right when you think of a price extension this is sort of what you think of because that's what google shows you in the back end um, but on a desktop, at least, it'll look a little bit different on mobile devices. Um, typically, it's a little bit more apparent on a mobile device. But on a desktop, you'll see it right here at the very bottom of the ad. And if you're looking, you know, none of these other ads have dollar signs in it at all. So this catches my attention right away, this $50 per hour. And especially if you have a competitive rate, like let's say your rate's $50 an hour and everybody else is charging $80 an hour well then it's probably good to feature that right on your ad so people can just see like oh wow this is the cheapest place in town or the flip side of that if everybody that's calling you is asking for super cheap stuff maybe it's beneficial to put your price extension in here so that when somebody sees it they're like oh this is out of my budget range I'm gonna call somebody else so there's a different things you can do psychologically speaking with these extensions these price extensions to attract more people, to push people away that might not be the right fit for your business. Uh, so there's definitely different ways to use it. But if you want to have your price extension set up here so that people can sort of get a sense of what they're getting themselves into, then all you'll do is come over to your Google Ads account and you'll select a campaign. So, you know, you need to set it up on a campaign. It's actually, um, you can set it up on a, on an account level, I would recommend setting it up on a campaign level just so that you can keep everything straight because pricing might differ from campaign to campaign um, and even from ad group to ad group. So you can even set it up at the ad group level. But once you've selected whatever you're going to set it up on, so let's say we've selected this a campaign and an ad group, um, then under ads and assets, if you go to assets right here, then you'll see something that looks sort of like this. It'll have all your different assets. There's some different views here. They've been changing this lately, but um, then if you select price right here, it should show your price extension if you have one. And if you do have one and it's been running, then you should have some analytics data showing up here. Now it's important to understand what this means because it can be a little bit confusing at first. Like if you look at this and you see we've got, well, 4.25 conversions is confusing in and of itself because <laughs> there's 0.25 conversions, but that just has to do with the attribution model. So we won't really pay attention to that right now. But these four conversions, like you can't really get a conversion from a price extension, right? Like there's no way for anyone to fill out a form or to call you or... All they can do is click and learn more information and then become a lead. So there's actually no real way for someone to become a conversion from a price extension. Now that's not tr not necessarily true for a call extension, right? Somebody could click the call extension and then that's obviously a conversion. But why is it showing conversions here? Well, basically what that means is when this ad was, or when the ads in this campaign were, were running, then when this extension showed up on the ad which happened 558 times right so basically this is the data for this extension so this price extension showed up 558 times of that it got 89 clicks and of those 89 times that this price extension showed up on an ad when it got clicked that led to 4.25 conversions so this is really the performance of the site link extension when it's on an ad, right? So this can help you track, like if you're getting zero conversions when this extension is showing up on your ad, then it might not be beneficial. And maybe you have two price extensions and one of them is leading to four conversions, one of them is leading to zero. 
Well, obviously you want to shut off the one that's leading to zero and keep the one that's leading to four conversions. So this is helpful data to have, but it's also good to, to understand that, you know, it's not actually leading to conversions and our $19 cost per conversion is not necessarily coming directly from this price extension. So now that you sort of understand how the data works for when you're running a price extension, let's look at how to set one up. So basically you just come over here, click on the plus sign, and then it's going to pop up a window that looks like this. And you can see where it says at a price, you can choose your language, your type. So, um, in this case, we're selling different brands of products. So we're going to have some different product or a brand pricing. Um, you could have pricing for different events. You know, half day event is $25, full day events, $50, all sorts of different options here, but you'll need to choose a type so that Google can kind of tell people what this is, right? And then your currency. Um, price qualifier. So this is actually really helpful. Uh, so if you don't have an exact price, like, you know, this one's $32, but it might start at $32 and then go up from there. So you could say from $32 and up or up to $30 or average. So you can also add a qualifier, which is helpful. And then you'll need to add a header, which is going to show up right here. So that's basically going to be like, you know, what this product is. So let's say we're doing cleaning services. That's $32 an hour. And then we can have a description underneath, which is going to be down here. So, you know, whatever you want to put it, let's say it's, uh, uh, like two maids right $43 an hour for two maids and then we can put the URL where people can go to learn about the pricing and everything there you can even have a mobile URL and then you'll actually end up having several of these and that'll make up all of your pricing extensions and then once you have all of those set up then you just come down here click save and then that is going to finish setting up your price extension so that it can start showing up on your ads like this where people can actually see your pricing, click to view more. And again, this will be more obvious on mobile. It'll look a bit more like this on a mobile device. And keep in mind that most people search Google on mobile. So I hope that was helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of price extensions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even wanna deal with Google ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries. And you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.